Hello and welcome to Pipe Magic. Tonight I'm going to do a little review and tell you guys a little bit about something. I'm smoking. What I'm reviewing, some Sutliff, Sutliff? Sutliff, I believe. Crumble Cake English Number no. 1 in my Peterson Evening Collection 31. I have a story about this pipe I'm going to tell you guys one day. But for now, this right here, <clears throat> Sudlith Crumble Cake, English number one, from the back of the tin, an age-old crumble cake consisting of mature red Virginia's Lata, oh that word, Latakia, Latakia, Burley, and Oriental tobaccos, a true Balkan style blend for any English smoker. That's right, English number one. This is a Balkan blend, but they chose to call it English number one. I can support that because there's a, I'm sure most of you know, maybe not everybody, but most of you know, the debate over Balkan is, uh, is quite a thing in the tobacco world. I feel like uh, just going with the straight English is a good choice. However, I do love Balkans. And my definition of Balkan is not even, if it's called Balkan, it's a Balkan blend to me. That's kind of what I go with. This is not called a Balkan. It shall not be called a Balkan. It shall be called English. I would like to point out that K it's like Mortal Kombat right here. They're not playing around. That K is in the front of the C word. That means it's brutal. I mean, this might as well be like metal, the smoke, because it's cake. Let me show you what this looks like. This is one of the cakes that were in the tin. There were several like this. They are, uh, it's a beautiful, beautiful presentation in that, in that tin. Oh man. Let me get to that. The tin note. I think that's why I fell in love with Oriental forward English blends, Balkans, if you will, was the smell. Uh, the smell of them is my favorite thing, if I could own a cologne that was like Latakia cologne, I'd be like the happiest dude around. I'd be really psyched about that. It smells amazing. I want to say it's, it's up there with like Penzance on the 10 note for me. And so this is a brand new blend. So it's fresh, you know, it really couldn't be any fresher, I wouldn't think. They might have aged it. I don't know how long they would have aged it for. But I cracked that tin, and oh my god, it just, it blew me away how good it smoked. I uh, <clears throat> asked my wife, after filling my, my little uh, study with, uh, with smoke, I asked my wife to come in, asked her to describe what she smelled. I might get her to do it on camera one day, but today is not that day. Um, she said, knowing nothing, having never watched a review, she said it smelled like a campfire and burning leaves, which I think is like the most perfectly accurate description of an English blend that, you know, someone that doesn't smoke or anything could possibly give. Like, that's pretty dead on. That's, that's what you want to hear, burning leaves and campfire and smoke but not like cigarette smoke like a billowing good smoke <clears throat> so how did I get this blend you may ask well Sutliff has a virtual pipe club that I strongly suggest you guys check out if you go to Sutliff-tobacco.com or you could just you know google Sutliff tobacco guarantee you'll find it you go to the About Us section, and then click on Pipe Club Membership. Fill in a little information and everything. This was their first one. I didn't know what to expect. You know, it took a little while to get the email about it. 
and uh, I got the email and it was like, oh, I don't remember the exact amount. Six days from now, we're doing a thing. And I was like, all right, I wanna do a thing. That sounds cool. So six days passed. A coupon <clears throat> for this tin, this normally, I don't know, 10 to $12 probably tin for $3 only at tobaccopipes.com, which wasn't a website that I had ever used before. I went there, I started exploring. They had a lot of stuff, stuff in stock that was not in stock at Smoking Pipes. Um, it's a really good website. Uh, I got my first tin of Full Virginia Flake. They had, if I wouldn't have been broke, I would have gotten a lot of different things, but unfortunately, I went with the $3 tin and a tin of Full Virginia Flake because it was the first opportunity I've ever seen it in stock and my first opportunity to buy it. I'll do a review of that in the future, but for now, we're talking about the Suitliff Crumble Cake. Cake. I don't know how you even would pronounce that. It is a <sighs> leathery. Of course, I've never actually put leather into a bowl and lit it on fire, but I can't possibly imagine putting leather into a bowl and lighting it on fire and that not being some weird hazardous condition is a would be the main flavor of this. There is, of course, the Orientals, and they do give you that floral note. I spent some time. I also have not smoked any, like, actual flowers that I remember. I felt like rose, the smell of roses, and maybe... Uh, it's hard to say. Like, if you walked into a floral shop, right? And the roses were in the front, but you could smell all the other flowers. That's kind of what the smell, the taste, the taste hits me like. Mostly from the retro hell. When I retro hell it, I get more of that floral essence. I've, there's a lot of other tobaccos, you know, Lakeland blends and stuff with that floral essence and everything. I really liked this floral essence. It was wasn't super strong but it was there good enough to notice like really really dig your heels in and notice it but in no way overpowering you could easily miss it if you weren't trying to do a review and go out of your way to try to taste every little thing that you could um this stuff's good this stuff's real good i love it if you don't like english blends if you don't like oriental blends if you don't like latakia stay away you'll hate it if you have any interest in english or oriental blends um if you like that earthy manly leather campfire burning leaves um with just a hint of rose in the background this is the stuff for you um really really enjoying it i smoked that first bowl and it really blew my mind and i was like yeah, yeah hold on let me let me smoke several more bowls of this before i make my mind up <sighs> it's still just as good i i honestly i want to put this in like my top 10 but it's so new and i you know i've still smoked half a tin of it that uh I feel like I need to give it a while before I would officially put it in my top 10, but I will be ordering more. I absolutely love it, and I strongly suggest you give it a try. I also strongly suggest that you join the Suitliff Virtual Pipe Club. Uh, I mean, that's the cheapest tin of tobacco I've ever gotten. I can't even imagine getting a whole tin of premium, amazing tobacco for that cheap. It was 110. You can only get 110 with the discount. But worth it. And like I said, uh, tobaccopipes.com was mind blowing with what they actually had in stock at the time. Things might have changed. I haven't checked in a week. You know, 
how fast that goes. Some guy probably discovered and bought everything on the entire website in one order to, you know, resell it on eBay or something and probably doesn't even actually smoke. Or some fine gentleman stocked up his cellar. Sometimes it makes me wonder, like there's like, there's like a hundred dudes that just have like tens of thousands of pounds of tobacco that they couldn't possibly ever smoke. No matter what they did in life, they couldn't even come close to putting a dent in their cellar. And they just kind of lord over it and go, ha ha, no one may have this tobacco but me. I don't know why you need a hundred tens of something, but apparently every time something drops, there's like 100, 200 people who are like, done, screw everyone on the planet. I'm gonna buy all of this and just put it in a closet for it to never be seen again. Maybe one day there'll be an estate sale like 50 years from now. And like, there will, we will just be flooded with thousands of tens of 50 year old McClellan tobacco <laughs> we can always dream we can always hope anyway guys i never know how long i'm going in these videos because i can't see how long it's been rolling could be five minutes could be 10 minutes maybe i don't care i don't really but also upload time becomes a becomes a pain and this one guy told me to only make five minute videos which just felt way too short but I try to keep them shorter because telling you what, I could ramble for like a solid hour right now. I don't think anybody would watch. Anyway, ladies and gentlemen, I bid you a fond evening and uh, highly suggest getting yourself some suit lift crumble cake number one. Good night, everybody. Have a great night.